Yes, the Australia A squad, uh, Usman Kawaja uh, and um, Alex Newland are likely to be the opening batsmen, or and, uh, and Jordan Silk and Nick Maddinson. The captain of the side is Brad Haddon, the vice captain is Steve Smith, also Mo Moses Henriques, uh, Nathan Lyon and Ashton Agar are the spin bowlers, and then the pace bowlers are from the Ashes squad, Peter Siddle, James Pattinson, uh, Jackson Bird, uh, and also we've got um, uh, Chad Sayers in that squad also. And, and uh, the, the decision to play those fast bowlers and Nathan Lyon in England, primarily uh, a, a warm-up for them heading into the Ashes? Yes, absolutely. Uh, so they'll be getting red ball cricket, and of course the other pace bowler in that squad is Ryan Harris. Uh, Ryan has, uh, you know, we're thrilled to bits that he came back strongly at the end of the season and did so well in the Shield final. Uh, so he's, he's a very highly regarded bowler. So they'll all get just the appropriate red ball practice um, at, in those three games on the Australia A Tour. So it's worked out well. Sorry, you've named some, um, some exciting young talent in there as well. Jordan Silk um, only played a couple of first class games at the end of the last season, but uh, impressed with a couple of big centuries. Yeah, he, he, and we we're very impressed that in the uh, Shield fight, he batted throughout the first day, and we need more of our young players to be able to bat long periods. He did well. Nick Maddinson has been on the radar for some time, uh, and we're looking for consistent performances from him. Uh, and then, of course, Steve Smith, as I mentioned before, we regard him very highly. He's a very good cricketer, and we want him to really blossom. And this is another opportunity for him. Jordan Silk's Tasmanian teammate, Alex Doolan, made some big runs against South Africa in the tour game. Now gets a look uh, in this squad over in England. Yes, he, yeah, he, he had a purple patch in October, November. He made a very good 140 in, in Adelaide, followed up by a very good 90 in Melbourne in Shield cricket and then he got 160 odd uh, against South Africa at the Sydney Cricket Ground and he, in that period, he looked a fine player so we're really hoping that he comes through also. And Ashton Agar um, there is a, is a spinning option with Nathan Lyon, he must have been, must be, the panel must be impressed with how he went in India to give him an opportunity in this team? Yeah and, and especially we're impressed with how he, how he performed when he came into the domestic cricket both in the Shield and in the Ryobi Cup He's a very good uh, left arm, slow orthodox, uh, slow bowler, um, and he bats well, feels well, very good young man. Um, and we contemplated taking Farwood Army in as well, but uh, you can't have three, there's three games, three spinners, they wouldn't get a bowl. Uh, and there's a game, there's another um, tour to South Africa with, with Australia A whilst the, the Ashes tour is on. So the intention is to have Farwood Army on that tour. Uh, you haven't picked Chris Rogers or Ed Cowan in this squad. Um, does that is that uh, mean that they're not don't need the extra warm up practice in England, or specifically because they're playing county? You've left they're, them playing, they're playing county cricket, and and that's the ideal preparation for them. Ed is playing at uh, at Nottinghamshire or in uh, in Nottingham, uh, and that's where the first test is at Trent Bridge. And Chris Rogers is playing for Middlesex, the home ground of Lords, so that's where the second test is. So it couldn't be better preparation for them to be playing in that competition and getting lots of cricket there. A few people might have uh, wondered whether George Bailey or Adam Voges might have got a run in this team. Um, are they on the radar? Well, they were certainly, they were both uh, discussed at the selection table, uh, but Chris Rogers uh, received the, the support of the panel. Uh, as far as the Australia A team goes though, Bailey I, and Voges not well, part of the Australia A squad? No, no, no. Um, well, they couldn't be that and in the Champions Trophy, so when we finalise the Champions Trophy, they might be there. <laughs> uh, John, Chad, Chad Sayers might be a bit of a bolter into the Australia A squad. Uh, yeah. what, what can you tell us about well, him? Well, he, he, he did particularly well in Shield cricket this year and, and had a taste of it last year, but 48 wickets at an average of less than 20 is uh, an outstanding performance and he's a very accurate, medium-fast bowler who swings the ball, uh, pitches the ball up and swings it, uh, and that sort of bowling is always uh, very, uh, does well in him and very conducive to English conditions. So he, he, was, he was very much in our thoughts when we you know, sat around to, to select that, and uh, he should do well. 
John, the other couple of fast bowlers that have been uh, there and thereabouts in recent times are, are Pat Cummins, uh, who's obviously been on a long layoff from, from injury, and, and Josh Hazelwood, who's been in and out with injuries. Where are they at and, uh, in the selection panel? Yeah, line? look, I spoke with uh, Pat Cummins just a couple of days ago uh, and got a full report from him. Uh, he, is, he is rehabilitating himself, both uh, in terms of strengthening his body and getting his action right. Uh, we think the Australia A tour to England is too early for him, but at this stage the intention is having him on the Australia A tour to South Africa, which is sort of late July, August, so we think the timing's right for him to there. But what we certainly don't want to do is to rush him. So he's been working with Dennis Lilly and his action has been remodelled slightly, so it's likely to put less stress on his body and we want to make sure that that action those modifications have been well grooved before he gets into the pressure situation of a game. Josh Hazelwood is, is very highly regarded by, by the national selection panel, um, but uh, with those four pace bowlers from the Ashes squad being in the, uh, in the Australia A, there wasn't room for him there, uh, but he's still highly regarded and we hope that he comes through. Um, and again, he'll be in very strong contention for Australia A in South Africa.